with Gorilla Wire TV. It's movies, music, comics, technology, games, relationships, taboo, paranormal, lifestyle, conspiracy theory, pop culture, humor, obscure. It's people sharing their thoughts, their insight, their opinions, and their voice. Welcome to the 2008 Comic Con. We are sitting here with the infamous, infamous. Neil. <laughs> yes, definitely. Notorious. 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 Neil Adams. Very nice to meet you, sir. Same here. I'm Glad Emily Lazar, and I'm Phoenix Young. Okay. And we'd, and we'd like to ask you a couple questions right. today. Um, do you want to um, start? Well, first off, uh, I know that there. Um, you have been contributing to the uh, reintrodu reintroduction of the Joker character in the new Batman movie, The Dark Knight. Can you tell us a little more about that? Well, the writer and the director seem to think that they're following the Joker's five-way revenge that we did in the DC Comics, where we reintroduced the Joker after about, I don't know, 10 or 15 years of his having gone somewhere. We kind of reintroduced him in a in a homicidal maniac sort of way. It wasn't uh -huh. quite the old Joker having fun, but pretty much... Quite different from Jack Nicholson? Yeah, leaving a trail of bodies pretty much behind him and turning on his friends and enemies alike. Now, I am told by the writer that... Well, I'm not told. I mean, I see the interviews that that's sort of the one that they're following. So, yeah, I mean, we didn't voluntarily contribute him. He mm -hmm. just, just happened to work out that way. Okay, sounds very interesting. Um, I guess, I mean, I guess it has something to do with Heath Ledger's, like, um, adaptation of the character himself, I mean, when he ca comes into the role. I, I, suppose, I, think, yeah. I, think it, I think it has to do with anybody who would interpret it. I think the yeah. director and the writer decided in script and directorial form, but it was uh, Heath's uh, interpretation that put the final dot and the final cross T on it. And, and for and, himself, too. Yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> yeah. so. Yeah. But, I, you know... I, you have to kind of go past that because it is an acting job mm -hmm. and as terrible as the event is, my impression from everybody is that it's a fantastic job. Yeah. So I'm kind of giddy over seeing it. Yeah, we are too. We definitely are we too. It comes out. <laughs> um, one more thing, Neil Adams. Um, I just wanted to ask you, now we know about, there's a rumor going on about a top secret comic book slash graphic novel that's about to come out. Yeah. Can you just give us a little... <laughs> You know, I would show you pages of it, preview? which I have here, but really? I can't. They're not, I'm not allowed to. Oh. This is a sort of a, I don't know, a precursor to the project because uh, continuity has been focusing a little bit, a little bit, moving their focus toward my Batman, the way it's interpreted. And, and, I, and I can't really say, like, if I said that it's Batman, that would be revealing a secret that I'm not supposed to reveal. But I will say that I'm doing a series of six graphic novels. Uh, I'm doing the story, and Frank Miller is doing the dialoguing, uh, assuming he can break away from his uh, busy career directing. Uh, he wants to do it. And it's about a Cape Crusader who has a cowl over his head. I can't tell you who it is. <laughs> okay. That's all we're going to get for now, people. <laughs> Thank you very much it's for sitting here and talking with us. This is Emily, again, Phoenix. Phoenix Young. For GorillaWire.com. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. to the 2008 Comic Con. Um, we're here with Mac, the uh, creator and writer of, uh, yes, Anna Smudge Professional Shrink. Uh, we got a lovely illustration of it right here. So um, tell me, uh, Anna Shrink, she is uh, the hero in this book. Yes, Anna is the main protagonist. She's 11 and um, she becomes the top shrink in Manhattan. 
Oh, and okay. through her therapy sessions, she unravels a pretty dark and, and twisted mystery okay. and involving all these colorful kind of characters back here. Well, let me ask you, what inspired you to make the main character a child? You know, I mean, it was a, it was a kid's book. Okay. Um, it, it's a book for uh, ages 10 and up or people up. with okay. the, the maturity level of a 10 year old. Okay, that would be me. <laughs> or or who, who enjoy bathroom humor, oh, I would say. Okay. All of my boyfriends, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, so tell us, what are these um, three illustrations about in the back? Are well, they the villains? Um, yes, yes. This is actually Donnie the Meatball Fratelli. He is uh, an escaped hitman. Mm -hmm. um, he escapes from prison using a toilet bowl plunger. Um, this is Mrs. Wow. Summer. Uh -huh. She's the art teacher. She goes bonkers. She loses her mind. Okay. Um, and that is Naked Seaweed Man. Oh. And uh, I can't really reveal that much about him because he's kind of, you know, it's just part of the mystery. Part of the mystery. Now these characters, <laughs> where do they come from? <laughs> Because that, they're very interesting, and and I you know, always wonder, yeah. you know, where, where illustrators, where you know, people that write these things, where they come from in their oh. mind, like way back in yeah. the dark days, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? I I have to say that I waited tables for a few years, and I met, oh, that'll do it. <laughs> I met like a plethora of characters. It yeah. was a great, great place to kind of get material. Mm -hmm. And Glenn mm -hmm. Fabry, he is actually doing, he did the interior illustrations. Oh, really? And so this is his very first time crossing over into the kids market. And like Glenn has, he, um, I would say he's like a very fine line between disturbing and humorous. Mm -hmm. And that was the kind of note that I was looking to hit in the book. So it was, it was perfect pairing. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, they're very interesting characters. You can just see just by the illustrations alone. And I'm sure in the book, it's going to be yeah. quite exciting. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> now, how long has Anna Smudge been around? Is this a very new comic? This is this is your first a comic? a brand new comic, and it's actually a mm -hmm. book, but um, okay. it's more like a hybrid. It has uh, 12 full illustrations by Glenn, and then Greg Horn, he did the cover, and then he did uh, this, this piece over here. And so, I mean, for Greg, too, it's like kind of his first time breaking into the children's book market, because he's been doing like right. a lot of stuff for Marvel and right you know, comics right. for for quite a while and this is your first is that correct this is my first are you excited i you i have been <laughs> fans of both of these guys for 11 years yeah and i had no idea that i would one day be working with them it's that's like quite exciting a, it's like a pinch me moment like pinch me now so it's great it's and this exciting. is your first time at comic-con is that correct no i've i've been at comic-con mm -hmm. before but it's kind of like my first time on the other end of the counter. well that's what i meant yeah, yeah exactly yeah, definitely well congratulations on your new thank you book so and much. a smudge and thank you and good luck with it all and we look forward to seeing more of of Anna in the future all right well thank you and thank you gorilla <laughs> this is our gorilla isn't he cute <laughs>